Hey everybody, Fernando here from Georgian BMW, and today I've got a very unique vehicle preview for you. Yes, it's a BMW 3 Series, but can you guess which BMW 3 Series? So I know it's not the M340i or even the 330i. In fact, it's the all new 2021 BMW 330e plug-in hybrid. Now, typically for me, I've always steered away from electric vehicles. Reason being, manufacturers always seem to have this way of turning them into some sort of space age vehicle with crazy designs, kind of like something you'd envision out of the Jetsons with flying around cars. But for the 330E, you can't actually tell that it's any different than any 3 Series, other than the charge port on the side and the E on the back. Let's talk power specs for the 330E. So in conjunction with the hybrid and the gas engine, this car's gonna push out 288 horsepower and 310 pound foot of torque, pushing it from zero to 60 in 5.6 seconds. If you wanted to drive this car purely on electric power, you could go approximately 30 kilometers. After that, it's gonna switch into a traditional hybrid mode. So it's gonna recharge itself through regenerative braking. So charging the 330E can be done in one of two ways. If you're near a rapid charger like this, you can get the car fully charged in about three hours. If you're at home using a 110 charger, it'll take approximately five. So the best way to think about it, just like our cell phones at home, when we get home, we plug them in at night, that way they're ready to go first thing in the morning, just like your car will be. Another neat feature about the 330E is you can actually program the car in the iDrive menu to start charging at a particular time. The reason why you may wanna do that is to make sure that you're taking advantage of off-peak hours from your hydro company. Let's move to the interior of the 330E. This car is identical to any other 3 Series out there. The only differences are in the LCD display, some of the lines are blue for the E-Drive, and there are a few buttons down here that pertain to the hybrid system. Other than that, this car is identical. So driving the 330E, we have three different modes down here that we can drive from. If we click the pure electric mode, the car is gonna switch purely into the battery mode. So as I mentioned earlier, we can go approximately 30 kilometers on just pure electric. Now the car isn't gonna be quite as responsive because it's constantly trying to conserve energy so that you can go that whole 30 kilometers. If we switch over into the hybrid mode, now we're gonna get a combined between the two. So we're gonna get the hybrid engine, plus we're gonna get the two liter turbo engine that's gonna kick in, giving us a little bit more boost and a little bit more power. And if that's not enough, we can switch it into sport. And then all of a sudden we're gonna get all the power. We're gonna get that zero to 60 time of 5.6 seconds and it's gonna be super responsive. So another really nifty feature of this 330E, if you go into the maps in your navigation and you plug in the address in which you wanna to go to, it's actually gonna to use topical graphs in order to make sure that it's using electric when it should and then the gas power, that way you get the most efficient drive. So if it was me doing it, if I was driving to work or driving to home, I'd have that programmed in. That way the car automatically knows when it should be using the hybrid, when it should be using the gas, anything like that. One of my favorite creature comforts about this car isn't actually specific to this car, but it has it. And it's the assisted driving features of this car. If you press this little button here on the steering wheel, it's gonna put on cruise control and it's gonna give me an option between radar cruise and assisted driving. So the assisted driving, what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep a safe distance to the car in front of me. And it's actually gonna look at the lines in the road, keep me centered, and it's gonna follow the contours of the road and basically do most of it for me. Now, I do still have a little bit to do. I have to keep a little bit of pressure on the steering wheel and I have to keep my eyes focused forward. If I don't, after a couple seconds, you'll notice the car is gonna start to flash yellow at me and it's gonna tell me to put my hands back on the steering wheel. And if I don't do that, the car is gonna stop driving for me and I'll have to take over control. So that's gonna wrap up my quick overview of the 2021 330E. For more information, please don't hesitate to reach out and do me a favor, show your support by hitting that either like, follow or subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.